Homesteading is hard and exhausting, but there is an easier way. But first, I need to show you what makes homesteading so hard. So let's talk to some friends and see what they have to say. I'm Jen and I'm here at the Homesteaders of America conference in Virginia. I'm going to ask some friends some questions about their homesteads, what they find most challenging, and take you along with me. So I'm here with Morgan Gold at Goldshaw Farm. Hey guys. And Morgan, what's your homestead like? So I have a farm in northern Vermont. We do ducks, geese, a couple chickens, and we raise trees. What's the hardest part of homesteading? For me right now, it's actually dealing with predators. I've had a lot of problems where I've had predators killing some of my ducks, trying to keep the predators at bay and yeah. killing my animals. That's a, that's a big part of it. Okay. What about the most expensive part? Fencing, probably. Fencing. <laughs> I spent a lot for of money. Geese? Like for the geese, for the ducks, for the chickens, like you know, like I've got like the Premier One fencing systems, like the solar chargers, the yeah. poultry netting. You know, if I think about my infrastructure costs, either that or building the housing for the birds has been the biggest expense I've had over the last couple of years. I'm here with my awesome friend Rose. Rose, uh, tell me about your homestead real quick, just so people know. We do mainly goats and different types of poultry and gardens. What's the most difficult part about life on your homestead? Probably our biggest stress would be dealing with the parasites in our goats. We try to maintain all natural herbal remedies for all of our animals, but when the parasite loads get too high and the herbs are not working anymore, we have to take more drastic measures that don't make us feel as comfortable. It's, it's a hard, stressful situation when we have a parasite outbreak. What about the most expensive part about homesteading for you guys? What costs the most money on like a month? Animal basis? feed. The feed. Oh my gosh. What takes most of your time? The animals. <laughs> so I'm here with Blake Kirby of Daddy Curbs, which Daddy Curbs Farm. Permaculture homesteading in real life, right? Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about your your homestead? Uh, well, I have a small homestead in Texas. We do uh, chickens and ducks and goats and horse. Not goats, plural. We have down to one goat. <laughs> Horses and I have the garden space and the orchard space. Okay, so I'm asking people what their biggest challenge is with their homestead. But managing space, I think. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I have very limited space, so the horses and bees share an area, mm -hmm. and so there's a conflict there because the bees okay. hate the horses, and the horses really want area, yeah. but they get, get driven out. So I think just organizing the livestock in such a way that they're happy. And what takes the most time for you? with your homestead? Well, the daily amount of time is probably gonna be the, the daily chores for the animals. What's the most expensive aspect of your homestead? The feed for the ducks. The feed, feed for the ducks, okay. Well, horses too, they eat, you know. Yeah, so animal feed. What is your favorite part of your homestead? Me, personally, it's my garden. Your garden? I love my garden. Okay. I'm here with uh, Chris Ward, aka the other half of Sunshine Farm. Yeah. What's the most challenging part of homesteading for you? dealing with animal sicknesses, uh, all kinds of ailments from bumblefoot, they require treatment, they require medical attention, Deworming. they require us to put them in special conditions, isolating them from groups, which just creates more work. It worries us too, it causes anxiety. Well, what's the most expensive part? Feed is what I want to say off the top of my head. Yeah, I think probably. feed is the most expensive. We spent all the animals feed. Yeah, you know, hundreds of bucks, you know, on, on every month on feed. What's your favorite part? Definitely the gardening by far. Like the produce. Growing our own food, um, having access to fresh food on a regular basis, the health benefits that we know that that brings for us in our lives. Uh, just the tastiness factor too, it's, it's delicious, it's fantastic, it has such a great variety of food. I'm here with Craig at Mother Utter. Mother Utter. Mother, Mother Utter. <laughs> Mother Utter Farm. Yes. Okay, and do you want to tell us a little bit about your homestead? We had a homestead up in Concow, California. Um, it burned down in the campfire, the fire that wiped out Paradise, California. Uh, we've been living in town uh, for the last 11 months. 
and the last two weeks we finally come back up onto the property we're living on there full time now uh, we've just now moved the goats and the ducks and two of our donkeys back up onto the farm tell me craig a little bit about what the hardest parts of homesteading are for you guys the most uh, challenging part the most challenging right now getting back up onto the homestead is the oh no the goats are out what do we do then they're off into the logging area and it's like okay where are they now and yeah. they're going to try and find them so yeah. the day before i flew out here uh to the homesteaders of america conference i built a whole new pen for the goats uh took about eight hours just straight work started about 6 a.m. Yeah. and ended just before the plane left. The running joke with people who, people who own goats are, if it doesn't hold water, it won't hold a goat. Yeah. What's the most expensive thing for you about your homesteading life? Like what costs the most? Uh, the most expensive right now would be uh, rolls of fencing for our property. It's fencing okay. for the animals. So we're looking at probably it would cost us 40 rolls at about 100 feet per roll, somewhere around what, $4,000? And I had a realization here. It's a lot easier being a vegetarian homesteader. According to our friends, fellow homesteaders from all over the country. The hardest parts of homesteading, the most expensive parts of homesteading, have to do with raising animals. Yes, we do have a number of animals here, and even though we don't raise them for the purposes of meat, dairy, or animal products, we can attest to the challenges of, of having the companion farm animals. The health has a swollen eye, and so we called the vet immediately. You can see it. We're both in kind of a bummer mood because we think one of our chickens may have been taken by a predator, which would have been the first time for us. So the not so fun part about homesteading. We experienced a loss and it was sad and there was some tears. And make, talking about it makes me want to cry. Hey! The health issues, the predator issues, the cost of feed, the fencing issues, all of those things are what exhaust us most about this lifestyle. But ultimately, homesteading isn't necessarily about animals. It's about sustainability, self-sufficiency, growing food. You can do all of that in the garden. Plant-based homesteading is so much easier. See, tonight I got home from work and I thought about what I wanted to do from dinner and I remembered we had lots of beautiful broccoli to harvest. We have tons of radishes to roast and we have lots of delicious greens, carrots. So I'm gonna roast broccoli with some root vegetables. I am going to saute some kale and greens and we can eat from our farm in mid-October and it's just simple. I planted the broccoli, I haven't really touched it since I planted it, and now we're about to eat it. I don't have to butcher an animal to have my meal. You can have the homesteading life. You can move towards self-sufficiency and sustainability without having animals. And you actually might find that your life is a lot easier. Just an option, just some food for thought. <laughs>